And I stand before you tonight as the 2019 valedictorian. This time last year, I found out that I was in the running for this title. It was then that I decided I wanted it. So, I worked hard for it. I sacrificed for it. And yes, I stressed for it. And I got it. And at our senior award ceremony, it felt so good when I heard my name announced for this title. It's so good. For about 15 seconds. Yeah, 15 seconds of my heart racing and my adrenaline pumping. 15 seconds of, yeah, I won! 15 seconds of being at the top of the pile of all my accomplishments, and it felt euphoric. But there must come a 16th second. And on that 16th second, I sat down in my seat, I looked at my silver stool that says valedictorian, and I thought, that's it? What just happened? Why, why am I not feeling anything else? To be honest, I, I don't even know what I was expecting. A parade of balloons to drop? Or, or maybe I was hoping that all of my problems would fade away in comparison to this amazing achievement. But none of that happened. Not even in my heart. I felt nothing. I was shocked. This was a huge problem for me. And I needed to figure out why. So here was my thought process. Working hard is good, but it should not be done for the sole purpose of a goal shake at the expense of relationship with others. Looking back on this year, I realized that the stress of this year for this goal in a five minute speech was paid for with the lack of attending to relationships in my life. A lesson learned and self-reflection accomplished. Now, I would like you, my fellow classmates, to do some self-reflection. I would like you to take a moment to fill in a different thing that you strive, that you focus on. Something that you thought was the end-all deal. Perhaps it was sports. Perhaps it was fine arts. Academics. Getting into a particular school. An unhealthy social life. Friends. We are about to launch into life. And we haven't messed anything up yet. Now think, instead of academics taking your focus off your important relationships, it was your career and your shows over your spouse. Instead of sports, it's money to pursue at the detriment of your children. Instead of just the Instagram-worthy picture, it's striving to be famous at the expense of time with your friends because now you're too self-involved. I'm well aware that this is kind of a downer speech, but I don't care. Because a lesson learned should be a lesson shared. Now I'm glad that I have only made this mistake of striving for something that is in the light of eternity, not important, for just one year. I can't imagine if I had learned this at the end of or at the end of my life. Here's the lesson. Have no regrets in the 16th second. Nothing is more important than your healthy relationships. Nothing. Not your goal. Here's why. Relationships are where we get to influence, impact, and change people's lives. Your life cannot be meaningful without them. And we are put on this earth by our creator. And we all have a purpose. And how we can all go about that, that's what's different. It's different in what college we choose, who we marry, what career we choose. It's different in the triumphs and tragedies that come upon us. But in all those things, so be generous with your time and money, and a lot of relational issues will be resolved. And by the way, it's not too late to mend fractured relationships. Any friends you haven't spoken to in a while because of your pride, parents who you disrespected, and teachers who you never thanked, just do it. Humble yourself, start a conversation, have no regrets. Thank you.